Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial for downloading uh, Stalker Anomaly and adding some commonly used add-ons and making them work together using Mod Organizer 2. So uh, to start, you're going to want to Google Stalker Anomaly and then find this website and download the latest version of Stalker Anomaly. Very easily, just click download now. And uh, once that's finished downloading, what I normally do is I open my C drive, which is my SSD, and I create a folder called Anomaly. I then take Anomaly, drag it over to that folder, and then extract it, which might take a little bit of time because it's a uh, pretty big file. All right, once I have that moved over into the folder, I Google Stalker Mod Organizer 2, and it should bring this up, but I will put um, all these links in the description. I then come down here and click this one, and then uh, once that's finished downloading, I create a folder called uh, Mod Organizer 2. You want to keep your game and your Mod Organizer files separate, that way um, they can't be compromised. It's something I read on the uh, Discord, and a lot of people seem to agree with it, so it's what I do. So, keep your Mod Organizer 2 folder right here. And then you want to open up your downloads, grab your Mod Organizer 2, and then very simply drag it over there. You then want to open this. Hit yes on whatever it says. I accept the agreement. Um, right there is fine. You just want to make sure it's not in the same folder as uh, Anomaly. Alright, once that's finished, launch. Alright. Once you launch it, you should get something that looks like this. You want to create a new instance. I usually do global. Uh, not much of a difference for what we're doing here. So then you find anomaly. So mine is in my C drive. Select folder. This is uh, named stalker anomaly. That works fine. Hit next. Hit next. Finish. Hit yes here. So now you have stalker anomaly on mod organizer 2 with no mods installed but it's all set for us to install mods into. We're gonna start with downloading the, um, the mod I had the most issues with. Now it says in the uh, very lengthy description of this mod that it works with Mod Organizer 2 and it does, but it doesn't work like you thought you think it would. You have to kind of um, install it in a weird way, which uh, isn't very well explained. And it's the main reason I made this video. So here's your Boomsticks and Sharpsticks, which I just hit download on. And you want to go over here to Boomsticks and Sharpsticks, find that game data folder, and then you want to open up Anomaly, your C drive Anomaly, not the MO2 folder. You want to open up the C drive Anomaly folder that you made, and then you want to very simply drag game data over and put it into the folder. And once that's finished, you have Boomsticks and Sharpsticks working. Boomsticks and uh, Sharp Six also includes the quick melee food and drugs and drinks, which is required to make the mod work. But um, adding it to Mod Organizer 2 this way doesn't work for me. So what I normally do is just find it myself and download it. So you download it here, which I'm going to link in the description. And so here we go. Here is food and drugs animations. And uh, this is the easy part of the video. You just come over here to this second part, install a new mod from an archive, and then I move over, find my downloads folder. And so the one I want to install now is the food, drug, and, and drinks animation. So I just click there, and um, you have some funny pictures here that you can look through. Um, and here, here are some extra stuff you can add. I normally don't add it. Um, you hit install, and then it's gonna install that. So there you go, now you have uh, that mod. And then you want to add 
My other mod I'm going to add is the uh, Soundscape Overhaul, which is right here, and I will link in the description. Soundscape Overhaul. And then I check all of these. You can uncheck uh, whatever you want. And you can also do that after you've already installed it. So, move that one over. Alright, so at this point, you have these two mods downloaded. And you also have the uh, Boomsticks mod. But that one is um, already overwritten the game files. So that one you cannot switch off. These ones, you can uh, switch off uh, whenever you want. It might ruin some of your saves. But uh, you can uh, play it how you want. So then from here, what we're going to do is run. Now, um, you can use whatever settings, you know, for your computer. Uh, mine is 2560 by 1340. And I recommend playing it full screen. And if you have a uh, somewhat modern PC, uh, DirectX 11 works. Um, you can verify installed version. Um, I installed some weird mods, so sometimes it'll say this at the bottom for me. I haven't ran into any issues with it, though, so um, if you see this, uh, don't be worried about it. Uh, one way to test uh, that Boomsticks is working is by opening the game in debug mode, which is what I'm going to do here. All right, so the game is open. Uh, you can see an anomaly here, but there isn't anything that'll pop up for Boomsticks, so the only way of knowing is by testing it yourself. So I'm going to go to New Game. Um, it's a good sign you can see these guns, which I'm pretty sure are part of Boomsticks, but just for the um, benefit of the doubt, start. Alright, so here I am in game, and then because debug menu is open, I can hit F7, and then spawn stuff in. So item spawner, uh, let's do shotgun, okay, you can see a million shotguns, so that's how you know it's working. So, let's also test to make sure the food is working. So, here I am opening my backpack. Let's eat some bread. Alright, the food is working. Um, at this part of the video, um, everything should be working. But I'm going to run through some uh, some quick fixes to make the game run a little bit better. Um, as you can see, we're getting a tiny bit of frame drops, which uh, most people don't care about, but they kind of bother me. So, I'm going to show some fixes for that. Uh, what I normally do is, I keep V-Sync on, so people uh, say it doesn't work with this game, but I have no issues with it. Uh, I turn this stuff down a tiny bit, just the normal stuff. Uh, but one big thing that everyone will tell you causes issues is grass density, which is which is uh, kind of interesting. The foliage in this game is uh, not super optimized. Um, I think it has to do with the engine, though, not the developers. They've done, or with the modders, they've done a great job with the game. I also turn down shadow distance and turn on HBAO, which is good if you have a NVIDIA GPU. With AMD, it's one of these other ones, I'm not 100% sure. And so, I've changed these eight settings, and uh, it says it doesn't affect till after you restart, but you can already see night and day difference, at least on my computer. No GPU dropping, really. Uh, no frame, no, not frame, not GPU dropping, no frame drops, really. I might be missing one setting because uh, it did run a little bit better the last time I installed it, but uh, you can just go through and um, mess with settings yourself. This isn't really one of those games where there's a magic setting. It's a lot of just uh, turning down details will improve your FPS. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, comment anything you need, any questions you have, and I can probably help you. Ah!